order. The new Tees Dock is near the mouth of the river on the south side at Lackenby. It provides deep water berths for the largest vessels likely to use the river and port facilities unrivaled on the northeast coast. The gentlemen, the guys that, that set up the Tees Conservancy Commission many, many years ago, the port is over 160 years old in terms of the first cargo handling ship. They had tremendous vision to what could happen uh, in the future. Uh, they, they reclaimed all of Seal Sands and created the platform for ICI and the chemical sector to develop on Teesside. They work very closely with the steel sector, which is a huge histor history within, within Middlesbrough and, and the wider Teesside area. The first day we started, when we came here for the very first day, was at 6 o'clock on the 23rd of March 1963. Yeah. And this was the only part of this dock, all this dock was done, the river part of it, but this was the only place that was capable of doing any work because there was only two cranes here and a brick shed. Yeah. There was only about 18 of us to start with in any case, dockers. Yeah. And on that first day, there was no work till the Christopher M sailed in here. When you first started, I mean, all the dockers were family. If you weren't related, you didn't get on. No one trained you, to, told you anything. You'd go with the dockers and they'd show you how to do it and that was, the, that was your training. Number one key was first built 50 years ago, and that was, that's one half of Tees Dock. The second half of Tees Dock, which is number two key, opened in the mid-70s, and subsequently uh, Potash then came into the operations of Tees Dock as well. In the old Tees, you went to work in your clothes, you worked in the clothes, and you went home in the clothes, and that was it. No lockers, right. nothing. No company provided safety equipment, for example. People came to work in what they were wearing, and went back home again and probably to the pub for a pint or two afterwards in the same gear that they, they came in. You know, we're determined to make people very, very conscious of the risks um, and make sure they go home in, in the same condition, if not better, than when they came to work. That's really fundamentally important to us. We've, we've made some tremendous progress. We've made some really um, great improvements in our, in our accident record. We will never rest on our laurels and say, yes, we've now done it but we've done a heck of a lot. And with the engagement involvement and involvement of our people, which we want to do more and more of and have some specific programmes in mind to deliver over the next couple of years on this, I'm convinced we'll achieve those objectives. Are they are them young dockers? Yeah, these are the young lads who started uh, a couple of years ago. Hey. Some, are, some are fairly recent as well. All you lads are going to be dockers. The first thing you've got to know about dock work, let's have a look at your hands. You won't have them fingers on when you finish. When I was a paint and decorator, you had one hand for the firm and one hand for yourself. One hand where you hung on to the gutter, that's your hand, and one for the paintbrush, didn't you? On this job, your hands are for you. No one played hell more about these than me, because I thought it was a bloody waste of time. Because nothing is going to fall on your head, and if it does, it's going to be one of them bloody plates weighing about 40 ton, aren't it? But still be careful, look where you're going. I wish I could look after you. I might come back, eh? Without the workforce contributing to the business, we simply wouldn't be here. It's as simple and straightforward as that. We have a, a major physical asset and a lot of land around the river and a lot of infrastructure with it, but none of that works without our people. It's a very simple, straightforward statement of fact. Yes, things have become more mechanised and we've introduced new technology to help along the way, but without our people, none of that would work. So that's how important they are, vital. We've got a great workforce. Uh, they, they are, they've been tremendous in, in, in many of the projects we've looked at over the last 10 years of my time here, to start up steel handling again, just like a kid glove, it went straight back on and we were back operating efficiently and effectively again. I'd just like to say thank you for all those guys uh, in that period of time, not just in the last 10 years, but also 50 years ago, who started in Tees Dock and actually made it the, the great place it is to work today. The variation of the job was good. You do different things every day. The men, it was family audited. They were brilliant guys. Good, it was, it was brilliant. I enjoyed working with the men, all the people were fantastic. I loved every minute of it, every minute.